The main message I want to get across to coaches is we're in desperate need of getting players to feel better about themselves by doing individual coaching. Now that scares people because they think, where are we going to get these coaches? The coaches exist in the clubs at the minute, they just haven't tried this, or a lot of coaches haven't tried it. What you want to do is look for specifics that are going wrong with players, take time, take space, take them out, work with them one to one. You don't have to be an expert to do it, you can feel your way through it, but in the end you'll get to the bottom of what it is that will change that player. And what it does for that player is it increases their worth in a number of different ways. In sheer playing terms, it increases their worth. It increases their worth for a team. But the biggest thing of the lot is it increases their self-worth. Because no child, no player, and no youth player who is corrected and helped through a thing um, on a one-to-one -one basis or in a small group away from the peers will ever feel anything except 10 feet tall when you put them back in. That's essentially what we need to move towards because there are things that will change with a player in drills and games as normal, but there are things that we're skirting past that really can only be addressed with individual work and time. You just look at your typical coaching session. So what you have in, in general underage would be a manager, a couple of coaches or selectors, etc. And the typical session would have all of them involved with the collective they'd be involved with the collective. What I'm looking to do is create a culture where, or a format where we have people from that group who step aside and at the behest of the manager or even after communicating among themselves, they end up with a person who is prepared to step out and take individuals as they come out. That person doesn't have to be an absolute expert. Um, they have to just be willing and have a, w a willingness to actually improve that player. Um, probably the best way of looking at it was uh, I worked, or I, sorry, I attended a coach in Limerick in 1995 and met with Dave Allred, who was the kicking coach to England and British Lions at the time. And when he was telling us how to go about some of these things of looking at individual traits of a player, he likened it to having a, a ring or a set of keys and saying to a player, right, on that ring of keys is the answer. We don't know if it's the first thing we try or the tenth thing we try, but it's there. And we're going to take time and space to work with you on that. My big fear of conferences, uh, I'm not denigrating conferences per se, is, is that people are enthusiastic when they're in the conference and then when they go out and they're in the car home and a few days goes by, they sort of forget the message or they're a wee bit fearful when they go back to their own club because then they have to pass on this message that they might feel I'm the only one saying this. And my message to them is, is be brave, try it out. That's exactly what I tried with player development coaching that I'm working on now. Um, and I didn't know where it was going to lead. It has led at the moment to me working with Derry Seniors, starting for the first time to work with them. I don't know where it's going to lead, um, but the players are enthusiastic so far about doing individual work. And that only came from me coming to the likes of conferences and finding out from other people. We set up a WhatsApp group for player development coaching. Um, it has 142 participants. Um, I have no idea how many of them are actually practicing the player development, but I know quite a few are. It's, to a, you could describe it as a self-help group. We sort of share ideas. Um, some are well-known people, some are not. Um, and really it covers about 15, 20 different counties at the minute. We'd like it to spread even more. But what we do is, is sort of find out what would you look for? What have you found out with the player? Um, is it working? Um, do you have to push it on that wee bit more? And the message is, is really persevere. Because I'll give you a simple example. There, there, I'm now working with Derry. I was very worried about working with the county at, at that level, would it work? And already two or three players were looking at them in, in terms of how might you change in a year. So it's not quick fix, don't worry about that. Um, and look, if you're in a situation where you think how's this going to work, give me a ring.